here we have the properties of water. You can find this on the front page or the first page of your reference table. Okay, so basically it describes or tells you how much energy is needed for water to go through the different phases of matter. So here we have the, at the top, the first one, heat energy gained during melting. Okay, so here we have ice and it starts to melt. Right, so it's gaining heat from the environment, and thus it changes from a solid phase to a liquid phase. All right, so it's melting. So that requires 334 joules per gram. Now, heat energy is released during freezing, so it's losing heat. So the ice is losing heat. So thus the temperature lowers, it gets colder to a point where it freezes. Okay, so heat energy release during freezing. It also takes 334 joules per gram. It's almost like a door, you can go back and forth. Now, this is where you have where it requires the most energy. Heat energy gained during vaporization, which is the same as evaporation. So that requires 2,260 joules per gram. It requires more energy to go from a liquid phase to a gas phase. Okay, so, and heat energy is released. Okay, and heat energy is released during condensation. So condensation is the gas phase to the liquid phase. All right, so heat energy is being released. So now you're forming water droplets. That also takes 2,260 grams, I'm sorry, joules per gram. And just a little bit of information here, the density of water at about 3.98 degrees Celsius is one grams per milliliter. Very important to know this. It may come handy. All right, so let's look at a couple examples uh, that they may ask you. What is the total number of energy required to melt one gram of ice at zero degrees Celsius to liquid water at zero degrees Celsius, All right? So required to melt one gram to liquid water. So heat energy is gained during melting, so that's 334 joules per gram. So is your best choice is B, 334 joules. How many joules of energy does one gram of water lose when it freezes? So if you're losing, the energy is being released. It's freezing. Again, it's 334 joules per gram. The best choice would be 334 joules. During which phase change? Will the greatest amount of energy be absorbed by one gram of water? So the greatest amount of energy absorbed. So if it's being absorbed, so it's gaining. Okay? So it's gaining. So the best choice would be, well, it would be vaporization. So it would be choice C, evaporization. Which process requires water to gain 2,260 joules of energy per gram? Okay. Similar question. Actually, the same question, but just worded differently. Gain. Okay. Gain. So it's going to be A, vaporization. During which phase change does water absorb the most heat? Absorb the most heat. Okay, so it's a, if it's absorbing, same thing, it's gaining. The most heat well, is going to be here, so it's evaporization. 